Hi, this is Al Williams of Sunset Hill Solutions. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can change the default appearance of the HTML editor provider in .NET Nuke 7. For this demo, I'm actually in the process of building a website called learnbi4.com. It's going to be a, a resource website for people that use Business Objects version 4. And this is using the community edition of .NET Nuke, so just the free edition you can download from CodePlex. And what I'm going to be doing in this website is giving all registered users the ability to go ahead and create articles related to Business Objects 4. And let me just log in and explain what I'm trying to do in this video in terms of modifying the HTML editor. Okay, before we go any further, I should mention what's on this articles page. This is actually a third-party module, and it's called Easy DNN News. Um, you can purchase it from the um, .NET Nuke store. I bought this about six months ago and been using it on a few websites, and uh, it's one of my favorite blog or article modules available for .NET Nuke. So this is the only commercial third-party module that I'm using on this website, and I think it costs around $70 or something like that. So back to the website. I'm logged in as a user called Dave Edwards, so this is a user I just created, and, and this user has no special permissions other than that they're just a registered user on the website. And because they're a registered user, they have the ability to go ahead and create articles. So I'll go ahead and click on this Create New Article link. And now we come to the Article Viewer page. So the author here has the ability to go ahead and create a new article, which we'll do by clicking the Add Article button. And now we have the interface for creating the article itself. So if we scroll down a bit on this page, we can see that there are two HTML rich text editors, one for the summary of the article and one for the article detail. And what I don't want to give the users the ability to do, in this case, and I'll explain why in a minute, is the ability to insert images or documents directly into the, um, the summary or the content of the article. I also don't want them to be able to create templates that can be saved for future content. It's just really not needed on this particular website. And one more thing I want to do is I only, only want them to see design mode. I don't want them to be able to switch to HTML view and put in HTML code here. And the reason I don't want to give them the ability to upload images in the HTML editor is because this um, article module for .NET Nuke has its own built-in functionality for adding images to individual articles. So in this case, this user that I'm logged in as, Dave Edwards, he goes ahead and creates an article here and he uploads some images to this gallery. It's unique just to this particular article and other users won't have access to the images that are used in this article and that's what I want for this website. Now I'm logged in as a super user on this site and we're going to go ahead and make the changes we need to make just for the HTML editor on that particular page um, to behave the way we want it to. So in order to do that, I have to select host up here and go to the advanced settings and click on HTML editor manager. And now we've got the default HTML editor manager settings. So we have a default configuration here and then one called everyone which is the one that's used um, by everyone on the website. Now I want to create a custom configuration for the HTML editor for the article viewer page. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this page and I want to make a copy of the, the everyone configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and click copy. And now this is where I determine who, where this configuration takes effect. A couple things I should mention right now. You notice at the top here it has bind to role and it's showing everyone, registered users, administrators, and host users. In this website, let me just show you, I have I have more roles defined than that. If I go into security roles, you'll see I have an article mod moderator, forum moderator, 
Um, and this could very well be a limitation of the community edition of .NET Nuke that doesn't show all the the custom security roles you create for the HTML editor configuration. So I go back into the HTML editor provider. I go ahead and I'm going to make a copy of this everyone configuration again. So again, you see it doesn't show those those other roles that I've created. It just shows the the core roles for .NET Nuke. So it's a small limitation, but I'm still able to achieve what I want to achieve by selecting registered users here. And in this case, for this website, the only page on the entire website that registered users will be able to go ahead and make or use the HTML editor is on the article viewer page. So I'm going to select that page. I've got registered users selected up here. And I'm going to go ahead and click create. So this has created a copy of the configuration for the everyone group and it's called users page uh, article viewer only so for this one page. Now the next thing I want to do is point out there's a lot of settings available here. I'm not going to be going through every single one of them but you take your time and go through these and uh, play around with them a little bit, you'll get a feel for how, how much you can customize the, uh, the HTML editor. So in this case, remember I mentioned I wanted to change the edit mode to be design only. So I'm going to uncheck the HTML and preview edit modes. Then I'm going to go into the toolbar configuration because I don't want them to have the toolbar items for inserting media or for saving templates into the HTML editor. Um, so what I want to do here, here's the toolbar section for the image manager, document manager, etc. And here is, right underneath it, is the template options. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these two sections. And scroll down and click on update. So now I've sa saved this configuration, this custom configuration, to only have design mode. And in the toolbar for the HTML editor, it should not show the um, options for saving images and uh, documents and so forth. So we received the message that the update was successful. I'm going to go ahead, go back to the home page, log out as a super user, and log back in as a registered user. So I'm logged in again as Dave Edwards, so this is just a registered user of the website. If I go to the articles page and click create new article and add article, we should see those changes in effect. And in fact we do. This was the area right in here where we had the drop downs for inserting media into the editor and for inserting templates and they no longer appear on the toolbar. The other thing is we previously had the H the design HTML and preview modes here. Now it's just the design mode and they don't have the ability to add custom HTML. <coughs> Excuse me. So thank you for watching. This is Al Williams of Sunset Hill Solutions. I hope if you have any need to change the configuration of the HTML editor provider on your .NET new website that this video will help you out and at least get you started moving in the right direction. Thanks again for watching.